Hey everybody, how are you doing? Hey, I'm just curious how many of you have ever experienced this. You open a bag or a can of your pet's food and you, you hit with this smell and you're thinking to yourself, my lord, what is that? Well, chances are what you're smelling is rancid fat. Now, it's not a big secret that uh, the, many of the ingredients in today's commercial pet foods are byproducts of our own meat processing that have been deemed unsuitable for human consumption. Well, frankly, some of this stuff should be deemed unsuitable for our pet's consumption as well, but that's the subject for another video. Now, pet food manufacturers add animal and poultry fat to the food because it contains oils that are essential for our pets to have healthy coats and skin. The problem arises in the fact that often these fats have begun to turn rancid. They're then treated with the preservatives BHT, BHA, or ethoxyquin. Now, fat becomes rancid through the process of oxidation, and we know that through oxidation, free radicals are released. This creates a health issue in itself. Then when you add the chemicals BHT, BHA, or ethoxyquin, you've compounded the health issue. Now, both BHT and BHA have been linked to uh, conditions such as dry skin, uh, dental disease, allergies, uh, liver disease, kidney damage, and tumors in our pets. In the United States, BHT is banned from use in baby food. In Sweden, Romania, and Germany, BHT is banned from the use in human food. And in Japan, both BHT and BHA are forbidden. Now, considering the carcinogenic uh, properties that these chemicals have demonstrated, it's interesting that they're still allowed for use in our pets' foods. Now, ethoxyquin was developed in the 1950s by Monsanto. It was registered with the EPA in 1965 as a pesticide. I have seen some documentation listing it as an herbicide, but the majority of it listed as a pesticide. Another common use for ethoxyquin is in the manufacture of tires because it makes a great rubber stabilizer. Now, how do we go from uh, pesticide slash herbicide slash rubber stabilizer to a pet food preservative? Now, you can read the EPA's re-registration eligibility decision concerning ethoxyquin in the link that I've posted uh, in the description. One thing that I did note in this documentation is that the EPA has not done any studies on the carcinogenic properties of uh, ethoxyquin. However, other uh, institutions have. Most recently a study at the Nagoya City University Medical School in Japan linked uh, this chemical to uh, kidney and bladder carcinogenesis which is basically the process through which a normal cell is changed into a cancer cell. It's also been linked to a higher incidence of stomach tumors. Now while the studies on these chemicals may not be complete the question that really begs to be asked here is why are we using them at all? Now there is no question that the fat needs to be protected from oxidation and rancidity but we have uh, choices of natural preservatives such as vitamin C and vitamin E. Well the big drawback to these natural preservatives is shelf life as well as cost because the synthetic chemicals are cheaper so now we understand why the pet food manufacturers use the synthetics. However, there are a wide variety of foods available that do use only natural preservatives and if as a pet owner you decide to feed your pets those types of foods, uh, you need to make sure that that food is used within four to six months of the manufacture date. Now the manufacture date is going to be printed on the package somewhere obviously, but if it's not clear uh, what the manufacture date is, for example if it's just a series of numbers, as a code that do not clearly delineate the manufacture date, be sure to call the manufacturer with your questions. They'll be more than happy to answer them. Now ultimately, no matter what we choose to feed our pets, as pet owners, it is our duty to do our due diligence to make sure that all of their nutritional needs are met. I hope that the information I've shared with you in this video has been helpful, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. And cut.